So I'm happy with that trade. Even though I was literally really late to that, there was more opportunity, um, you know, better than SWRM. So now I'm positive a few hundred on the day. Nothing huge. And again, I was late to that one. Um, didn't sell at the exact top. I mean, it got up to three, four, but out in the three twos, three threes. And that's what it's all about. Just small little profits like that. What's up, Tim Sykes, Millionaire Mentor and Trader here, going over my recent trades. Um, click the link below, we're gonna post the first video from my first trade of the day. I wanna go in chronological order. Um, I like reviewing all my trades. In the first trade of the day, if you watch that video in the link below, um, I tried for the morning spike on SWRM, didn't get it, wrong. Um, it was during a live trading webinar, FYI. So this isn't like a, a normal uh, trading setup for me a little bit. Usually I just have one laptop, usually. I'm not, I don't have to like narrate everything as I'm doing it. I don't just like sit wherever I am and narrate for anyone just to listen to. I was giving an all day webinar. If you also click a link below, there'll be two links. One for the previous trading video. Second link will be for my challenge. If you want two, three, four live webinars every week from me and my top students, never follow alerts from anybody. Learn the process. Learn to see what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong, and try to implement a few of these lessons, tips, patterns, strategies uh, into your own process. Speed up your learning curve. I know that people just want money, but you're not gonna get money if you just try to follow others. Um, you're gonna get in too late, you're gonna get out too late, um, you're gonna be dependent on somebody else. Like, why would you ever want that for yourself? Learn to be self-sufficient. That's what I'm most proud of with all my top students in an industry where 90% of traders lose. Um, so watch those other videos, watch the webinars, and review every single trade. In this video, we're gonna review my next trade after the failed morning spike. Um, I went for a second morning spike. Right now, as I'm filming this in March 2021, there's morning spikes almost every single day. I, you know, I finished the week up a little over 40,000. The week before was like a $60,000 week. That's pretty good for me. Um, on the month, you know, I'm closing in on 200,000. I might even be over 200,000. I don't know. I donate all of it to, to charity. I want to donate the most possible, but I'm trying to partake in the best plays. I'm trying to show the best plays um, in as close to real time as possible. You know, I have to type out the alert. Um, like I said, I don't want anyone following my trades. I know that there's a lot of people in chat rooms where they're like, everyone buy this ticker and they just try to get everyone to follow. Um, that's never going to make you a successful trader. That's never going to make you a lot of money in the long run. That's how you become a bag holder. That's how you become a sheep. That's how you join the 90% of traders who lose. So the reason why I do these trades, the reason why I type out like a paragraph, two paragraphs, sometimes three paragraphs, I want you to understand my mindset, my plan, my, my, my everything, the ins and the outs. And in this trade, you'll see me trade SEVA, um, this was a play that I made money on the previous day. So this was actually a two day breakout. The previous day high was two four. Um, you know, the day high on Friday, I'm, I'm filming this on a Saturday. I'm sorry, I'm tired, it's been a long week. Um, but the previous day high was two four. Friday's morning high, the breakout key level was two four. I didn't see it until it was two six. I was trying to get it at two six. I ended up paying a little more at two seven. But I recognize that morning spikes are in. I recognize that it could keep going, whether I got in at 2.4 on the breakout, like some people actually beat me. 2.4, um, 2.5, 2.6, it's all around the breakout area. And the question was, could it get to the threes? And it did, you know? So you watch this video, you'll see that when morning spikes are on fire, you don't have to necessarily be there at the exact right time. Um, cause you know, I, this was like one of my biggest profits of the day. I think it actually might've been my biggest profit of the day. It wasn't a huge day for me. I ended up like 2k on the day, but again, it's the process that matters. Morning spikes are in right now. Not my favorite pattern. I prefer morning panics. I prefer OTC first green days. I'll bet bigger when I get my favorite patterns, but I'm still going to try to partake in what the market is offering, not even for the money so I can donate to charity, but to learn from the market, to learn whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong. In this case, 
I was a little late on the morning spike, but I was okay because we're still in this speculative market. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Every single day, every single trade, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to adapt to what works for the market and what works for me. Trading is all about adaptation. Watch this video, leave a comment below saying, I will adapt. Let's see if you're true and you're dedicated about adapting to the market, no matter what patterns pop up. Study up. UAM is really tough too. People are saying like, why don't I have, give that more time? No. Same thing with ZKIM. All of these, um, you know, NFT plays are really tough to trade. SEVA dipping a little bit. This was a runner yesterday. Yeah, EDIQ on that too. EEIQ running. I'm not going to chase a $23 Chinese education. It's going to halt again. People are all excited about AABB. FYI, AABB is up 60% now in like a day and a half. I would not chase that either. Chasing is really dangerous. Stop picking on Bryce, says Sherry. No, Sherry. Give me a hundred burpees for thinking that I'm ever going to listen to you or anybody when I'm trying to coach my students. Don't interrupt me coaching my students. How about that, Sherry? I want my students to succeed. I know it might not seem like a, a pleasant experience, and sometimes it's not, but this is a battlefield. And in order to succeed or survive, even on this battlefield. I got to be a drill sergeant. Bryce, you think you would have survived without my rules? No, no. He would be limping around. He would have half a leg left. He only has half a brain to begin with. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, ouch. It's good. Stay humble. There's a lot of people who live fantastic lives with half a brain. Watch Forrest Gump. Get inspired. He is already a successful student. $500,000, FYI, is not successful, especially after taxes. I know a lot of you would love $500,000, but Bryce needs to do much more. Look at that. Jack, too, just sold his Wafu, made another $3,300. Everyone, please congratulate Jack, too. He's N07 in the challenge chat. Usually a long, or usually a short sell. CLEU keeps going. Congrats to people who are buying this. I can't, I can't chase. Oh, Seva is going. You see, that's one thing that I'm missing. That's something I regret. I took my eye off that one. That was a runner yesterday, and it's a runner today. That's the UVA. I had that, bought that in the, what, one sixes yesterday? Yeah. That's a nice breakout. That's something I regret from missing. Getting some Seva 269. Partial fill on this runner from yesterday. Breaking out. Goal is to sell in the threes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
political process. I know that's a problem. It's, it needs to establish itself first. And by the time I even get the freaking alert out, it's already 3-3. Look at that. That's how fast these things move. And I literally took my eye off that. Whoever just said, whoever just told me about it in chat, thank you. I, I literally should have had that, you know, in the mid twos. That was my mistake. Ooh, gee, I just don't like that daily chart. It's the same daily chart you trade every time. Yeah, but yeah, I don't like the gap. Upside. That's a perfect breakout over two four. So, That's when I should have been in save up. That's what I'm playing in India. Congrats That's to anybody who's in Saba mm -hmm. from the, the lower mid twos. That was there. That that opportunity was there. That's crazy. But it's still going. So now this is one of these crazy runners. The question is how far can it go? Look at this, three twos, three threes, very nice, three fours. See these low price runners, this is my chart, this is better. Try to get some of this. Out of the three threes, okay, okay. So I'm happy with that trade. Even though I was literally really late to that, there was more opportunity, um, mm -hmm. you know, better than SWRM. So now I'm positive a few hundred on the day. Nothing huge. And again, I was late to that one. Um, didn't sell at the exact top. I mean, it got up to three, four, but out in the three twos, three threes. And that's what it's all about. Just small little profits like that. Who brought it up? Um, Dematia was trying to get it at 1.9. Uh, Nick J. Lee made 10% on that. And if you missed it, it's fine. Like you learned, you start to see where the opportunities are. Can I mention what I see in the volume? I mean, Seva in a half hour has already traded 38 million shares. Uh, SWRM has traded 43 million shares. So I'm, I'm trading active stocks. Like a lot of people are like, oh, there's not enough volume to get in and out of these penny stocks. We're trading literally like the most active penny stocks. I'm not trading these things with like 5,000, 10,000 shares like people think. Johannes made 1300 on Seba, good. Someone said FEDU is another one that's spiking. I like that it has EDU in it. EDU means that it's an education company. And this one's kind of a lower price spiker. 
you know, again, it's just the, the Chinese, um, you know, education companies are spiking. So that gets all of the, the um, you know, degenerate traders interested. And Seba, by the way, I didn't have to take profits. You know, it's still holding in the threes. It's still a breakout, but I just want to be extra safe. As you saw with SWRM, it failed so quickly. What's EEIQ up to? Get up 10 bucks a share. Nice. Oh my God. That's nuts. That's really nice. Am I watching for another leg up? Um, I don't really like the second leg. I mean, I think it was. you have to understand, Seva, you know, was all the way up from the one sevens today. So really it was a better dip buy. So either you, you dip buy it in the, the high ones or you buy the multi-day breakout at 2.4. I was chasing it a little bit in the 2.6, 2.7 area. If I'm buying it in the threes, this is definitely a chase. So I don't like to chase. Jack two, number seven, just made 13 grand on EIQ. He's doing better than Jack one. Jack one is trying to deal with his newfound wealth. But again, some of you are so harsh on yourselves where you're like, oh, I missed it, I'm such an idiot. Listen, you're not Bryce, okay? You're better than Bryce. Stay humble, Bryce. I am. I see I am. you getting cocky. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Dude, you're looking at new places, you're like, I only look at penthouses. <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Did you not say that? Did you say, oh, I got a penthouse and everything? I can see him saying that. He, oh my God. He said that. He said that. He's looking at places and he's like, I got a penthouse. It is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Listen, you deserve nice things, okay? Forrest Gump lived a really great life. Yeah. Deatra says Seva was on your watch list. Is that how you found it? I was trading SEVA yesterday. Always remember recent plays. Remember recent big percent gainers. FEDU is now breaking out. So we had that one. Another low price Chinese education play. I saw that at 210, now 250. Yeah, that's nice. Volume of 29 million in a half hour. 